Saturday and I'm actually posting a video at the right time for once and here are week two of ballet tips. Enjoy. The ballet tip, um, this is more of a, I don't know, just, just listen to me. Okay, so, during class, act like you want to be there because nothing is more frustrating than those girls who just sit there and they're just like, oh, it's another combination, okay. Like, show the teacher that you appreciate their teaching and that you're really trying your hardest and showing, I mean, if you try your hardest, you're going to improve more and the teacher is going to appreciate it and the teacher is going to notice you. So don't be that person who, like, gets annoyed at the teacher or is just, like, tired or, I mean, we all have those days when we're tired, but try your best to at least pretend that you're enjoying yourself and hopefully you actually are enjoying yourself and really, like, smile and, like, dance things full out and have fun with it and you will enjoy it more and you will improve more. So. Hey, I'm sorry yesterday I said it was Monday but it was actually Tuesday because we didn't have classes on Labor Day because it was Labor Day. So anyways, Tuesday. Today's tip is to, um, hmm, today's tip is when you're holding your core, turn on to like clench your abs and just think like clench, clench, clench because, um, we were doing degages on releve today, and I found that that clenched me, and like I was almost clenching in my hips too. Then, and then I couldn't really move my legs independently. But then, as soon as I thought of like lifting and just like holding my core and lifting my core, it was so much easier to do degages, and it helped me a lot. So I hope that that helps you guys. Hmm. It's Thursday. Well, it's really Friday at one in the morning, but <laughs> this is Thursday's tip. Um. Basically, like, work your hardest during class, because our teacher was telling us, like, you're paying all these money for classes and to become a better dancer. The only way you're going to become a better dancer is if you, like, do extra things outside of class, do cross-training, and really push yourself, because that is how you will get the most out of your dance class. Okay, um, today's tip is whenever you're promenading, make sure that your standing leg is really turned out, because we did a lot of promenades in class today, and when I was watching people, um... I saw a lot of people who were more focused on keeping their leg up when we were promenading rather than um, focusing on their standing leg. And that's really, like, if your standing leg isn't turned out and you're not supporting yourself from your standing leg, then, it, like, if your leg is up, it's not going to matter because you're not going to be able to keep it there because you're not going to have a solid, like, core to support your leg. That was it. Um, it was only four because Labor Day. Like I said before, and I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'm going to the Hawks game, so, and Katie Martin is a fan of the Hawks, by the way, so.